Well, we are now fully into the heat temperatures that hit 90 degrees at the International Airport on Monday, likely to be into the mid-90s by midweek and by late week as well. But at least the humidity is somewhat tolerable. That will continue to increase as we move closer to the weekend, which also is going to introduce at least a chance for some much-needed rainfall by Saturday. It appears, however, that we cool it down again as we see the wind shift off the Atlantic for Memorial Day. So first alert for early in the holiday abbreviated week, at least, uh, we're going to be a little bit on the cooler side and we may still have that dangerous rip current risk. Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish was reminding us in his uh, daily weather podcast, which you can always get in the WOKV app about uh, the dangers of rip currents as we saw two lives lost uh, in the waters of Jacksonville and Nassau County, Fernandina Beach, just over the, uh, about a 24-hour period. And 44 water rescues in the city of Jacksonville by lifeguards just over the weekend. We're headed into a busy beach weekend. And with the onshore winds, that does create a little bit of a concern and a heightened rip current risk over the holiday weekend. Still have a heightened risk for... Uh, wildfires to develop as well, given how dry it is. We'll continue to follow that story. The big story that we're following for you is the superintendent of schools in St. John's County and his reaction and apology for those uh, edited uh, yearbook photos of young women at Bartram Trail High School, some 80 photos that were photoshopped to remove uh, the low-hanging tops and cleavage, and we continue to follow the story about the potential for changes in the dress code in St. John's Public Schools for next school year. A workshop set for Tuesday will be kind of a catalyst for ongoing discussion during the summer months will be plugged in for the story throughout the day and you can follow along in the WOKV app. It's the one year uh, mark of the death of George Floyd and throughout Minneapolis uh, multiple ways to commemorate the event, the death and celebrate his life and changes that have happened as a result is what organizers are saying. All the while the family of George Floyd is set to meet with President Biden at the White House today, and we continue to follow the court battles with three of the former officers. Of course, Derek Chauvin already convicted in the murder trial and facing sentencing in due time. We'll continue to bring you those stories over the coming days and months ahead. Continuing coverage of the wildfire danger throughout Jacksonville's morning news throughout this week. Stay with us for instant updates and download the free 104.5 WOKV app to get breaking news alerts.